recent exploration over the past couple of years have driven much debate about the development of biosimilar and the potential threats that this present for current originator products. So, where are we now with biosimilar? I've been asked more and more to present at conference or to write articles on this topic. In my 20 years of experience in research development, clinical, manufacturing, in pharma, biotech, Biosimilar could mark one of the most important changes to our industry. And to understand where the market stands on the biosimilar today, we must first understand just what complexity labs are facing in their development, as mimicking the performance of the branded original product is extremely difficult. So, what are the aspects impacting the future of biosimilar? First are the challenges associated with biosimilar development, that means the molecular complexity compared to traditional chemical molecules. Additionally, the regulatory sector in this area is new and evolving. The market for biosimilar is spread all around the world, with already a certain number of biosimilar approved in Asia and in Europe. The US is starting to place a framework for biosimilar program, but it's just the beginning. Most of the emerging pharma market, including China, India, Brazil, Mexico, have now developed their own regulatory pathway to manage approval for biosimilar. We must also consider the risks that biosimilar pose. In contrast to small molecules, biosimilar are like biologic and are prone to acute chronic immune response. Testing for unwanted immunogenicity is therefore integral part of the project development to ensure clinical safety for the patient. What does organization need to do to assure the safety? Well, since the immunogenicity of biosimilar and originator reference project need to be compared, in a clinical trial, it needs to be designed to demonstrate whether the immunogenicity of the biosimilar protein is identical or less than the originator. There are also the issue of exchangeability and interchangeability. Biosimilar are intended to act as interchangeable susceptibles for other biological products. While the interchangeability between a biosimilar and a reference product is simple enough in theory, just to recreate a patent product protein structure is very difficult. One of the most basic problems is that no two biological products can be exactly alike. Because of the process used to create biological products, proteins have subtle differences that are exacerbated when we do the manufacturing and processing technique. So we need to be very careful here. Lastly is the fact that this field is new and creates an open territory for IP. Council must develop approach to ensure that client research, development, production of biosimilar meet this new standard. With all of this challenge, the question is, can biosimilar product truly become a major player in the healthcare sector in the next couple of years or decades? I believe yes, because despite this complexity, the opportunity in biosimilar is far too large to ignore. In fact, a lot of pharmaceutical companies are already partnering with us at Bioagilitics to help push their biosimilar to market. Our veteran team is highly knowledgeable in the complexity related to those assays and provide exactly the level of specialized experience skill that is needed. To learn more, please submit your question or schedule a conversation with me through our virtual podium site and be sure to visit our website at www.bioagilitics.com for more on our full breadth of service. Thank you for your time and see you next time on the virtual podium talks.